Hello, I'm Fantastic and Fantastic, and today I'm going to be talking about how to avoid burnout or boredom. So, in my opinion, May has been the slowest month for Puzzle and Dragons in 2019, mostly because of a lack of new content being released outside of religious really skill delay resist farming, which is not really new, but I guess it is productive at the same time. And whenever that's the case, when we have like prolonged periods of time of little content, boredom or burnout may become a little bit more apparent, and I want to share my own experiences with how to avoid those problems. So, for reference, I have been playing PAD for over 2,050 days, which is quite amazing in its own regards. It is actually the longest game I've actually played ever, like no other game has held my attention for this prolonged period of time. And this is mostly because that we do have continuously new content being added throughout the game, but it's the actual puzzling aspect and the infinite skill ceiling and basically a learning curve that never really ends that keeps the game exciting. So that is the main reason why I continue playing PAD, but of course there will be periods of time where interest does fluctuate and vary. So again, this is probably common for people who have been playing for longer periods of time. So on a happier note, actually Thursday evening, which is actually a couple hours from this video, Gung Ho North America will actually be doing a Twitch stream, which should hopefully tease or broadcast new and exciting content. So, like I already mentioned before, 2019, uh, or some more so, May of 2019 has had a slower trickle of content, but at the beginning of 2019, we actually saw a very large influx of content. I honestly believe that Pad was making a huge step up in terms of effort to give content, give out freebies, give out playable content, which in my opinion is very important. And one of the, or in my opinion, the best aspect of that sizable content drop was these 30 stamina challenge dungeons that gave a lucrative reward. They gave one magic stone each, and it did give a large chunk of magic stones. And in my opinion, it's better to transition login bonuses into dungeons that have modest challenge to play through instead. Because logging in and collecting a bunch of stones is nice, but it doesn't actually make you necessarily keep playing the game. But if you to clear a dungeon that has modest to high difficulty, to acquire said stone, it feels much more satisfying, and when it's combined with the 30 stamina cost, or 15 in multiplayer, you're able to try over and over again, try new strategies, new types of teams, and it's at least exciting because each of those dungeons were unique. So in my opinion, that is my favorite style of content, meaning like challenging content that has meaningful rewards, and it's not necessarily repetitive because you don't have to keep playing the dungeon over and over again, which ends up just becoming a button slash swipe farming setup. So this is what I personally find is the most enjoyable, and for some reason, they kind of dropped that format completely. They still do have generous Magic Stone giveaways, but I would like to see that format return because at this point in time, the monthly quests are really stale and outdated. It's basically the same to send dungeons over and over again with only a couple of new challenge dungeons sprinkled in, but those dungeons can cost 100 stamina, and if you fail that, it doesn't feel so nice because that's a large chunk of your daily stamina just gone out the window. You may not be able to play much more. and. In my opinion, that's just not as enjoyable overall. So that is the type of content I like to see. Obviously, having new, like new exciting collabs or new and exciting cards, different leader skills, play styles is exciting, or permanent long-term dungeons like Arena Five or Alt Arena Two. Like it's nice to have nice, um, more end-game style dungeon. But again, everyone has different reasons for playing. So on that note, how can you counter burnout or boredom? So. A lot of my content being released for at least my website and YouTube channel is obviously tied to Gung Ho North or Gung Ho actually just releasing content to play through. And when there's a drought there, there's naturally a drought here, as well as my own um, personal motivations. I had two minor medical procedures done at St. Paul's Hospital this month. They didn't go as expected, lowers my mood, lowers my enjoyment level. So I ended up playing pad a little less or quite a bit less in this past several days or 10 days or so. And in fact, by playing less was probably the best outcome overall, because if you find yourself just grinding through dungeons, making it like a chore instead of a game, that is when it becomes a little problematic. Your enjoyment factor will definitely decline. And I do know for certain that when I first started playing pad, I maximized my stamina. I would sometimes even wake up in the middle of the night to play said stamina because my cap was very small at the time. It recharged slowly, so every stamina was important. Whereas now, stamina is at least a little bit more available. My stamina bar is much higher, so I don't have to play as um, often to maximize it. But sometimes I still let it cap out because if there's nothing meaningful to play, 
why do I force myself? I want to enjoy this. And I presume that's the case for many players that have been playing for longer periods of time. You want to enjoy said game. So by playing less and cutting back for short periods of time is a good way to kind of recharge yourself, so to speak. Because by taking that break, you're like lessening that burden or strain on yourself. And then when you do return and play much more heavily again, it feels a bit more fresh or enjoyable, especially when new content is released. So in all honesty, taking like small little breaks, like log in, do a couple of dungeons and that's it. You waste some stamina, okay, but at least you're not getting burnt out. You're not making it feel like it's a chore at that point in time because you want to still make it like a game. And that is how I personally avoid boredom or burnout. And that's partially why I have been playing for 2,050 plus days. So in conclusion, taking small breaks every now and then, like mini breaks, not necessarily not logging in, like log in, do a tiny bit is better than just going super hard for a period of time, burning out and just quitting overall. And this can be really applied to anything because too much of a anything really is not necessarily healthy or ideal. It might become repetitive or like a chore and we want this to be enjoyable. So let me know how you avoid boredom and burnout in the comments below as well as how long you have been playing Pad 4. Hopefully you all have a fantastic day. I wish you all the best luck in your own pad adventures. Check out the North American Gung Ho stream later on this evening, and happy puzzling.